Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This chapter talks about health. We are going to learn about some strategies, ways, and techniques that we can use in order to maintain our bodies healthy. The main objective of this chapter is to reflect knowledge on selected scientific topics. These topics include the following. Number one, physical, fitness. The second scientific topic is about stress. Okay. The vocabulary log of this chapter includes the following. One, health. Two, fitness. Three, fidgeting. Four, identify. Five, review. Six, recommend. Seven, speculative. Eight, ulcer. Nine, expression. Ten, entertain. Eleven, chronic. So now, you are going to listen to the conversation between two friends discussing a newspaper article. Then check the three main ideas discussed. Here we have five ideas, but your role is to listen to the conversation and then check the three main topics. Okay? Hi. Oh, hi. How's it going? Not bad. What are you doing? I was just reading the paper while I was waiting. Is there any interesting news? Well, yeah. I was reading about some new research on physical fitness. How even little activities like fidgeting can make you fitter. Fidgeting? Really? So if I tap my foot a lot or move around in my chair, I'll be in better shape? Yes. Seriously, it's apparently true. There was a research study, um, let me see where it was. Oh yes, it was at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. Anyway, they found that all kinds of minor everyday activities like standing up to stretch or getting off the sofa to change the TV channel and even fidgeting could make a difference between being thin or being overweight. Hmm. Maybe I should throw away the remote. Well, maybe, because if you have a remote control, it keeps you from moving. They also found that overweight people are less likely to fidget than thin people, and that overweight people spend at least uh, two hours more each day just sitting still. And, guess what? The extra activity of thinner people might make a difference of something like 10 to 30 pounds in weight per year. Wow. I better start fidgeting more. No, you don't have to worry about your weight. But don't some people just fidget more? Some people seem like they're more nervous than others or something. Yeah, that's another really interesting point from this research. They think that people may be born with a tendency to either be fidgety or not fidgety. So either you're born to move around a lot or you're not? Huh, that's kind of discouraging, isn't it? Well, you'd think so, but the lead researcher for the project says that he doesn't feel it is. He says that the good thing is that you don't necessarily have to go out and run 10 miles. Just any little movement or activity could contribute to physical fitness. Okay, that's good to remember. I'm curious, does the article explain how they did this research? Yeah, in fact it does. The people in the study wore special clothes that had sensors in them. The sensors took measurements every half second. Uh, there were 20 people in the study and they wore the special clothes for 24 hours a day for 10 days as they went about their daily routines. They found through the sensors that thin people spent at least 150 more minutes moving in some way than the overweight people. That's so interesting. Hey, can I read the article? Of course. Here you go. Wait, maybe I should stand up and stretch before I read it. <laughs> maybe you should. <laughs> So what do you think? What was the first main topic discussed in the conversation? According to the, con to the conversation, the first main topic was fidgeting can help you be in better shop. Yes, that was the first idea. How about the second idea? The second idea was Researchers think people may be born with a tendency to move or not move a lot. That was the second idea. The third one, 
the people in the study wore special sensors that measured movement. Yes. So let's move now to the other questions. You are required to listen to the conversation to the conversation again. As you listen, choose the correct answer for each item. Number one, the research study was done at a clinic in what place? Was it in Michigan, Missouri, or Minnesota? Yes, according to the conversation, the research study was done at C, Minnesota. The second one, according to the study, how much more time do overweight people spend sitting still? What do you think? Is it one hour, two hours, or three hours? Yes, according to the conversation, they spend sitting still at least two hours. So the correct answer is B. That's all for today, and thank you very much.